Jackie Valenci Lauper, and I'm here with director, writer, producer Gorman Bashard, who is also an author. Hi, Gorman. How are you? Hi. How are you? Jackie? Thank you for th taking the time oh. out of your busy schedule to join us. Very like nice. It. And now you're an author as well as a director and producer. Which came first, an author? Oh, it was definitely uh, actually the movies. I, I was starting film school in the early '80s and uh, made a number of horror films, including Psychos and Love. Uh, that's one of the ones from the 80s that I love. Wow, uh, that's was, amazing. It was that's just re-released last year on, on DVD. We got a really nice release for it. It's got like four hours of extra. Mm -hmm. And a couple of movies that I don't even talk about. And that's sort of what <laughs> got me like, okay, enough of this. And I just wanted to start telling stories. So I spent virtually all of the 90s writing books and uh, screenplays. But again, then I started getting tired of just sitting in my office uh, talking to my dog uh, <laughs> and, uh, and get so there. yeah so I, I got back into making the films and, and trying to but doing them my way I mean the last couple of movies it's like I pretty much have just been completely I raise money I do everything I have complete say which is pretty much at this point in my life the only way I'll do it because it's just it's like that whole thing of not wanting to take yes. uh, script notes from accountants. You know, kind of, <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you get to see the final, you, everything works your oh, way yeah. in the final outcome and yeah. everything, which is Hopefully. wonderful. Hopefully, <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. Yeah. And you live in New Haven. Where do you? Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Waterbury. Wonderful. I've uh, been in New Haven area since 89. Uh, That's so cool. And Gorman is doing a wonderful film written, directed, uh, and uh, produced by um, you, so uh, you did everything for this. And it's called Friends with Benefits, and you guys have an exciting New Haven premiere on April 23rd yeah. in New Haven. We filmed it in New Haven completely. Uh, you did? Yes, including here at Cafe Nine. Was nice. a number of so we were actually here. on the set, of yeah. one of the sets of um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, we filmed it at Bentara's, a bunch of apartments, uh, the Quinnipiac Club. I mean, we were pretty much all over town, and we, I mean, we used Katz's Deli to. Uh, to uh, cater it, and uh, yeah, actually, I directed it, I co-produced and co-wrote it, uh, and co-edited it with uh, a, a woman named Ashley McGarry, who worked on the project as well, I mean, so, uh, just to give her a, a And Ashley, what was the last? McGarry. McGarry, McGarry. Yeah. Ashley McGarry, yeah. kudos to uh, her. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, and we had just like a really, really solid cast of six, you know, unknowns, but they did a great job. I was going to ask you, the cast is really talented. I was watching the, the trailer and stuff. Mm -hmm. Where do you find your actors? All out of New York. All I, always, York. I always cast out of New York. I had a feeling because yeah. they're like a very professional, very, yeah. very yeah, we, good we did a union. Uh, we were SAG uh, this time around, so we did a union cast, and three of the six were, were SAG members. Nice. Yeah. Now, have you done union before? Or is it not for, uh, not for, uh, well, I did, uh, I've done a couple of bigger budget projects. Right. Uh, in the back in the day, but nothing. My own stuff, I've tried to stay like as low budget as possible. Yes, yes. The paperwork. Was <laughs> and tell us, you did that kiss with Elijah Dushka. Yeah, that, that was one of the bigger ones. Wow. So, yeah. What was that like? Uh, well, I mean, Eliza was great, uh, yeah. but the kiss was was the one of the reasons that I started making them by myself. A producer called me and he loved the script and he gave me a chance to direct it. Unfortunately, it also starred his wife. Oh dear. And thus, uh, there was a lot of problems with it. And that's that was actually the impetus that gave me to make my last film, You Are Alone basically said no more Hollywood no more anyone telling me how to make movies I, if it's it's such an involved process and it takes so long and it takes so much out of you my feeling at this point in my life is just like if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it my way I'm just not gonna that. do it I you love know, that I mean, yeah I wasn't really happy with the outcome because after I left they completely changed everything and I wasn't really happy with that and but look I, I guess like karma <laughs> is, it works out because my little my next movie which was you are alone which was the kisses budget was about three million my, my budget was about 125,000. Uh, I sold it, but my, my advance on DVD rights was more than theirs. So I that's guess, you know. Amazing. You know, yeah, that karma is karma. Does, yeah, karma yeah. pays off. <laughs> I always yeah. say that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny that you mentioned that. I mean, it's like life is too short, too. It is. I mean, I have a motto it's like, you know, life is too short to deal with a holes, basically. Yes, and it's, it is. I, I just no pay, no patient anymore. I'm too old. Oh, <laughs> that's so you know? wonderful. And then you get to see the finished product the way you hopefully yeah. wanted it. And already it's won all these awards. How long has it been out? It's basically played the film festival circuit since last, the Friends with Benefits, has played the film festival circuit since last June, uh, starting in Seattle. Um, we've been in uh, 16 or 17 festivals by now, won a bunch of things, which was kind of nice. I saw uh, that. You guys have quite the list. I mean, there's like, yeah, what, six or like, seven winners Yeah, we won a, like the, the main major award at a bunch of festivals, like the jury award. And the, the jury audience, award, yeah. yes. And uh, uh, best actress, best narrative feature, uh, winner of the audience awards, winner of best narrative uh, again in Sacramento, winner of best ensemble cast, winner of best romantic comedy. Wow, yeah. how does that feel? That's pretty exciting. I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's you know, it's uh, it, it, it's always nice that you you know you play these fest and like someone is recognizing what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, we we do go into distribution. We um, digitally 
basically come within the next probably the next couple of months. We're going to start off on a small a small company called Babble Gum, uh, which basically provides a lot of content for places, for people who watch movies on their iPhones. Oh, nice. um, but they have a 30 day exclusive. They're going to be getting the Del that'll be uh, premiering probably late May at this point. I don't have an exact date yet. And then 30 days later, it's going to go everywhere from the iTunes to Netflix to Amazon. You can get it on DVD. It'll be every basically every digital platform you'll be able to get it. That's so exciting. So yeah. iPhone users like me yeah. uh, will get it first. That's awesome. Well, I mean, it, the movie is definitely geared at the you know 15 yes. to 25 year old. Yes. So I mean, that's where, like, for me to watch a movie on an iPhone, it's like I need a magnifying glass. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I'm more of the sit at home with the 60 inch plasma TV. It's, uh, that's nice too. <laughs> I like yeah. that. And are you excited now about uh, it premiering? in New Haven that is this uh, well, yeah I mean it's 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 we, we had wanted to get something to play in New Haven um, you are alone finally only played in New Haven when we played it here the advocate actually sponsored it uh, to play it here oh, nice. so it's uh, I, yeah, I've not had much luck with playing in Connecticut which is kind of funny that I've been here my entire life but uh, one of our like just on one of our extras said hey I work at Yale can we see if can I, will you let me see if I can do this and she did jo a woman named Joan Duffy and she got this going, and she got us a screening at the Whitney Humanity Center on a Friday night. Wow. Free screening over to the public, and I was, so I'm really happy about it. It's, it should be a fun night. That's so exciting. We're going to cover that as well, but you're going to be yeah. crazy, so we'll, we'll be covering that. Yeah, we always have fun Q&As for anyone who wants to come out. We always have really? like a, yeah, Oh, that's so it, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have to make it to this exciting premiere. I'm just excited it made it to New Haven because it's such a, a you know a huge film. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the film now? The film is, is, is basically about two friends. That are, uh, Chloe and Owen, who have been best buds since they were, you know, knee high, right. uh, and they're now in med school, and they have their jobs. She has a band. No time for, well, no time for romance. Right. And so one day, one fateful day, Owen suggests, "Look, I know more about what you like in bed than any of your other boyfriends, because you know they, they always talk to each other, right. and vice versa." And it's like, so let's have no strings attached sex. And to his surprise, she says yes. And of course, to no one's surprise, complications. Yes, right, you know. yes. But yes, the main yes. complications tend to be more than anything with their friends, who at first are saying, "What are you doing? You're going to mess up the relationship." Um, until they start realizing, man, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. And then <laughs> maybe we should jump on this bandwagon. All, all hell breaks loose. Yes, <laughs> really? yes, yes. This sounds fascinating. Oh, it's funny. You. I mean, it gets it gets some good laughs, which is I mean, it's it's. I tried to do an independent type of romantic comedy. Right. Um, you know, it's somewhat fresh because it's such a genre. It's like been beaten into the ground by mm. bad movies. Right. Um, you know, and and I that's tried true, to do yeah, yeah. I tried to do something that's fresh and independent and younger. Uh, that's still a little bit on the raunchy side because. I think that you know, sex today can be. It, sex today is much different in college than it was when I was in college. <laughs> you know, so it definitely has the raunchy yeah. side. Right? And it's nice because uh, so many films that are actually done in Connecticut seem to be horror films. So it's nice mm -hmm. that a romantic comedy is like actually shot here. That's so exciting. So April twenty third, Yale at with the Whitney. The Whitney's Humanity Center on Wall Street. It's right at the corner of Wall and Church. Wall and Church. Yeah, okay. um, right across from the courthouse. And um, and the trailer is wonderful, by the way. So yeah, you can watch the trailer. It, yes. uh, it's fwbmovie.com if you want to go to the website. Where there's three trailers, there's deleted scenes, there's photos, there's alternate posters, there's everything you possibly want. But it's yeah, fwb wow. like friends of benefits movie.com. Oh, wonderful! So yeah. check it out first, yeah. and definitely come to the premiere. Thank you so much. Oh, Gordon. my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>